Hey, it is early December. I took a little break from filming and editing videos over the Thanksgiving holiday. So here we are in December. I don't know where the time goes. This is just going to be kind of a regular vlog. I'm going to do a quick garden update. I'm going to paint some holiday Christmas cards and gift tags and things like that. I've been doing a lot of crafting, so why not do a little craft vlog? I haven't done one of those in a long time. But first, let's take a look at what's going on in the garden. I have not needed the sprinkler because fortunately we've been getting plenty of rain and also with my raised beds I don't really have to worry about my in-ground root crops, my carrots, and the sweet potatoes rotting because these elevated beds kind of prevent that just because of their nature. The sweet potatoes I'm going to give a little bit longer, maybe two or three more weeks. I've been losing daylight hours just because of winter time. Everything that I've planted is going to take two or three weeks longer than what it said on the package because I'm planting in the winter time. The daylight hours are short. But anyway, my sweet potatoes are still looking pretty okay. Some of them are starting to die back, but not enough to try digging them up yet. I do have one red potato that survived. The other one had ants in it, so I had to ditch that one. The couple of little red potatoes that were in there um, were sadly eaten by ants, which is sad. I need to find a solution for the ants. The sunflowers, though, are some of them are still looking really pretty and have blooms on them. These I'm going to let dry a little bit more, but some of them are ready to cut. I have this one that I'm going to just save the seeds from to plant next year. I have so many that are ready, though, I might just try toasting them up. I've never done that before to, like, eat the sunflowers that I've grown, so why not? Why not? They're edible. Every single part of a sunflower is edible. Anyway, um, the beans or the peas are doing okay. I harvested a few this morning and again, loss of daylight hours and I'm in the shade back here. So not getting a whole lot, but still fun to grow. And the more you pick on peas, the more peas you get. This pot over here, doing pretty good. The jalapenos are ready so maybe i'll make some cream cheese bacon wrapped jalapenos because gosh there's a lot on this plant this sunflower <laughs> is doing a thing it's got all these just a ton a ton of blooms on it it's pretty amazing the blooms are small but they're just so many and the darn thing has turned into like a sunflower tree the carrots are doing well. Again, everything is going to take two or three weeks longer than what it said on the package. I planted these at the beginning of October. That's October and November. So 60 days. They should be, some of them should, according to the package, be getting ready. But they absolutely are not going to do that for another two or three weeks minimum. Um, these are some more sunflowers that I planted at the very end of the season. They're just going to have really small blooms. They're very small and some mixed uh, flowers and stuff. I have a sweet potato vine in here. I pulled my peanuts and wound up with like three or four tiny little peanuts. I did plant them at the wrong time. They were experimental, but it's good to know that I can grow them. Maybe I'll try them again if I build another raised bed. I may try to grow the peanuts again. So the peppers, I'm going to overwinter. If we get a frost or a freeze, I'll just come out here and cover them. I have, uh, they're looking pretty weak and sad anyway. So, um, but they're, they're doing fine. This one is all shaded out by the sunflower tree. So I may take these out and put them in pots. Uh, and kind of give these a little bit more protection. Maybe put these over on the south side of the house over here where they get a little more sunshine and a break from the wind to try to overwinter them because that way I'll have a head start on bell peppers in the springtime. So yeah, that's the garden update.
And now I really just want to kind of go inside on this gloomy day or maybe on to the back porch at my little desk back there and paint some Christmas cards and Christmas tags and do some crafty things because that's what a gloomy winter weekend day like this is for. So yeah, it's been a while since we've been in the uh, mad scientist lab of creativity and craft supplies. I've got some simple Christmas tree and candy cane and ornament designs sketched out on some watercolor paper and I need to practice my watercolor. I'm only really just learning. But what a great way to practice is to, you know, make some little handmade Christmas tags and Christmas cards. And that's what I'm going to do today. And instead of blabbering on about what I'm doing here, since you can see what I'm doing, I am just going to throw in some Christmas music. wound up being the 
perfect opportunity to take a break from painting for a little bit because the local small town Christmas parade was going by. So I stepped out front to watch that for a little while. gift tags are finished and I think they turned out pretty cute all they need is to be cut apart with some scissors or a knife and they're ready to be put on some packages thanks for watching this all over the place vlog I hope you have a great rest of your day whatever it is wherever you are Toast these up and eat them. I've never done that before, so that might be fun. The train. The train is the bane of my existence when I try to make videos because